At kaugnay nga po ng bagong quarantine protocols ng Department of Health, makakausa po natin si infectious disease expert Dr. Ron Jean Solante. Sir, magandang gabi and uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Yes, uh, Ed. Uh, good evening. Yes, sir. Doc, uh, I'd like to start off with ano, yung, uh, yung bagong quarantine protocols for healthcare workers. Uh, we understand nga na na-short na siya if you're a healthcare worker and you turn out positive from 10 days quarantine or isolation, it's now 5 days. Uh, and of course, we also understand then the need to ensure na may tao pa rin. May tao pa rin dun sa facilities kasi nga naman, pag masyadong mahaba, e baka mabusan tayo ng tao dun. Pero how, are we confident po talaga na within 5 days, eh, eh, magaling na yung uh, healthcare worker of COVID at hindi siya makakapanghawa o hindi siya magre-relapse or anything like that? Well, Ed, no? Uh, this is uh, a condition or a situation na uh, unang-una ang priority natin dito is still the health no? of the healthcare worker and the risk of uh, transmission. Opo. And five days uh, is really a short period. No? Now, uh, tinimbang namin kung wala kang symptoms or very mild lang yung symptoms, usually you have the symptoms. Nakita, nakikita na kasi namin ngayon no? yung mga healthcare workers. One to two days lang, tapos after that, three, third, fourth, wala nang symptoms. No? So, I think uh, this is quite a logical uh, an option, na shortening it to five days. No? But ang, ang driver nito is that, uh, rider nito is that when they will be reporting, they will still be monitored for the symptoms and they should be also monitored that they should be wearing and following the health protocol while they are in the hospitals because we don't want anybody be at risk, especially some patients or those healthcare workers na kasama natin. No? So these are important steps, but uh, we need to, to closely monitor this uh, development. Nag-agree ako niyan dahil unang-una, sa Salasaro lang, ang dami nating mga empleyado na talagang uh, nagka-COVID positive. No? And I think mm -hmm. this is, I would say, overwhelmingly short, shortage ang healthcare workers ngayon, even in most of hospitals because of the okay. high rate of COVID positive. Opo, opo. Well, well, pero I suppose, Doc, the other concern din is uh, uh, nakapag fully recover na ba yung, yung, uh, yung healthcare worker? I mean, uh, is he physically able to, uh, to go back to work? O baka nangihina pa siya? Ah, hindi naman. Kasi kadalasan, no, ang nakikita nga namin, ang mga sintomas ng ito is sore throat, pangangati ng ano, lalamunan, minsan headache or atsing or running nose. No? So talagang... Uh, majority doesn't have this mga yung severe body malay or myalgia to the point na hindi sila makapagtrabaho. Mm -hmm. Doc, kamusta naman sa, sa hospital niyo sa San Lazaro? Uh, uh, well, I understand kasi yung, uh, yung, uh, yung uh, occupancy rate dun sa, for example, uh, sa COVID wards is nasa 50% na. What about in your case? Uh, How is it going and uh, are you expecting uh, the numbers to go up even higher next week? Okay, uh, the numbers are going up, no? But slowly, compared to Delta, napaka-rapid ng increase ng Delta na mga oxygen-requiring patients. Now, we noticed ngayon, marami ra meron pero hindi ganun kadami na talagang in, in, in bulks of three or fours na talagang kailangan ng oxygen, no? So, majority pa rin are mild, but we would expect that with the higher number of cases in a few days, there will also be higher number of more severe cases na talagang may madadala sa mga hospital in the next uh, few days. Mm -hmm. Doc, medyo lalayo ka ng konti. Um, Kapansin-pansin kasi yung positivity rate natin ngayon nasa 40 na, 40%. So that means uh, sa, sa bawat sampung nasa testing center, apat sa kanila ang may COVID. Uh, but at the same time, people want to get tested because they want to make sure na uh, meron ba akong COVID o wala. What would you advise people who want to know uh, whether they're sick or not? Uh, is it, in other words, is it worth a trip to a testing center at this point? Kung saan maaring apat sa bawat sampo, eh, na, na masalubo mo doon sa center mismo, eh baka pagkunan mo pa ng COVID kung wala ka pang COVID. Yeah, yes, correct. No? And in fact, ang palagi nating sinasabi nito na if you only have a very mild symptoms, alam naman natin na talagang it's more or less 80%, it can be COVID no? because of the risk. So, hindi na kailangan pupunta doon sa mga testing centers para pipila just because of that mild symptoms na kailangan mo i-document kung COVID. You need to isolate and then you need to inform also those in your household na, 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 na meron kang sintomas to also do the quarantine and observe. No? Kasi 
at this point in time, whether whether it's twenty thousand, it's thirty thousand, or forty thousand, the approach will be the same. And ang piting na natin dito is yung kapakanan talaga ng mga mamamayan na pipila pa doon. And they will also be putting at risk na pagpupunta doon. They will be transmitting the infection. Hmm. Bakak it's not worth the risk, di ba? Uh, kung uh, kung medyo mild ka lang naman, eh, wag ka na siguro sa magal. Yes, correct, correct. Doc, let me ask you, last question lang po. Uh, as, a, as a member of the Vaccine Expert Panel and as somebody from San Lazaro, are you worried about next week? And how worried are you about next week? I'm, I'm very worried now because if you look at the data now of 21,000, this is just an underreporting because we have a lot of patients who are antigen positive uh, with telemedicines and all those mga text, uh, text messages na May mga kapamilya nila, three or four are positive, and uh, we decided to have them sa bahay nila. So this could be more, and I think cases will be increasing. And uh, ang, ang ano dito, Ed, no? it's, it's something that ang nakita ko dito, the, over, the overwhelmed capacity of the hospital at the expense of a shortage of healthcare workers. Yun ang medyo uh, ano ako, uh, concern. Mm -hmm. I, I suppose that ex that explains nga yung shortening ng uh, quarantine period for healthcare workers. Talagang uh, malaking bagay yon. Yes, yes. Okay, marami salamat po, Dr. Ronjin Solante from the Vaccine Expert Panel and from San Lazaro Hospital. Thank you, sir.